All right, Megan is doing an indigo dip with a piece of white muslin. And there's a green. And there's a green where it hits the muslin, it's green. As it comes out, it turns green. And as it hits the oxygen, it turns blue. And the reason we're going very slowly is we don't want any drips to get into the pot because that introduces oxygen and we want to keep it as oxygen free as possible. Okay, so here are a few things that we use to mix up indigo. First of all, we have our powdered indigo and this is freeze dried, it comes from India. Um, and we would add a little bit of water to this in my nice little indigo mixing bucket. Um, and then what you add to this is this white powder. This is a uh, RIT dye remover you can buy it in a drugstore. It's a, a chemical called sodium hydrosulfite. And then we put that in the indigo vat, which is right here. And that uh, starts out warm water. And then we add this chemical called soda ash. And what this does is that it changes the chemical composition of the water so that the dye will stick to cotton. Whereas if we were dyeing wool, I'd put in a different chemical. And then we put on our gloves <laughs> because indigo gets everywhere. So here are some pieces that we dyed with the indigo today. And as you can see, it's a nice, pretty dark blue. And that's the process. <laughs>